Hello. 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 Hi. All right. Welcome to the first coffee house of the year. Uh, it's the 10th annual winter coffee house to this exact date. Um, coffee house originated in the winter. So welcome to our 10th anniversary show. Uh, we three will be your MCs of the night. Um, we have Bethany, Matthew, and then myself. Um, hi. Okay. Um, and one last quick thing. Um, as you can see, in lieu of our 10th anniversary, we have a new T-shirt designed by the lovely Bethany Petrunik. Round of applause. Espresso yourself. Coffee house. All right, so for electronic devices tonight, you don't necessarily have to turn them off because we understand that you might like to take photos or videos, but please make sure you turn them all on airplane mode because if you don't, the signals will mess with the microphones and we may have some technical difficulties. So at this time, could you please turn your phone onto airplane mode? Also, if you have the need to use your phone for whatever reason, or if you just need to get up in general, that's all right. But just please do it after a set goes. Um, what? Yeah. Yeah, in the hallway, too. Don't just, like, get up in the uh, middle of the auditorium and do it. Um, so we'd, it'd be great if you could go to the hallway and do that. Um, yeah. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. All right. All right. Well, you want to do it? Yeah, that's all. I'll do it. All right. So, um, we're going to get this uh, show on the road. Um, so, without further ado, we have the great group study hall. Hey, guys. Yeah. Thanks Hi. for coming. Take it away. <laughs> all right. This first song is by a little band. A little band. Little they, band. They, they're not very. They were relevant once. Yeah. Uh, Led, they, Led Zeppelin. Nobody knows it's about good them. Good stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, ready? Bring it on home to you. I got my ticket, I got my load You're not born higher, all aboard I Take my seat, the right way back Watch this train roll down the track Gonna bring it on home Bring it on home to you trying to do gonna love you baby love another man too bring it on home bring it on home went a little walk downtown mess up got back late found a note there waiting it said I and I just can't wait bring it on home bring it on home bring it back home bring it back home to me baby Sweet 
nice little babe But you messed me up I was gonna give you loving, babe But you moved me out of town Bring it on home Bring it on home Sweetest little gal That I ever knew I'm gonna give you loving, baby But I'm moving out of town now Bring it on home Bring it on home Bring it on home Back home to me I'm gonna bring it on home, bring it on home to you. And now it's over. No, it's over. <laughs> Yeah, I figured. I had my tuner on the whole time. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. All right. Um, okay, this next song is some a song you'll probably all know. It's uh, very popular. And you hear it on the radio. It's an older song, though, just like our last one that was played. So, all right.
Nobody loves you like the way I do. Ouch. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, we got one more for y'all. Same band as the first song. Uh, this one's a bit more popular, so you probably recognize it.
Thank you. I want to make the point, I put these strings on yesterday. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> okay, well. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest, rest of your, your coffee home. house. Hope you get show. Now, this next bloke needs no introduction <laughs> because <laughs> you already met him. <laughs> Uh, our uh, third MC, Oslin Smith. There he is. Um, if you guys haven't uh, heard of Ozzy, then what are you doing? Um, but he's, he's incredible. Um, this is his fourth year of doing Coffee House. He's done it every year. Um, we missed him last time as a performer, but he's back. Um, and he's, he's better than ever, but that's a pretty uh, high standard to beat. Um, because it's Ozzy and he's great. Um, all right, all right. And uh, we've got Brady accompanying him on the piano here. Yes. Uh, good job, Brady. The lovely Brady. <laughs> but even better job to Ozzy. Great job, Ozzy. Woo, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hi. I've already got introduced, um, so uh, I'll get to the point. Um, just a thank you again to this lovely man. Uh, we went through so much, so. <laughs> All right, um, how many people here know Linkin Park? All right, uh, everybody know the tune uh, Crawling? Okay, well, obviously that's not Coffee House feel, so um, <laughs> um, I put a little spin on it. Um, this is based off of the One More Light tour um, that Chester, uh, unfortunately, was his last, but um, so. We good to go? Awesome. Good way. There's something inside me that pulls beneath the surface. Consuming me, confusing This lack of self-control I fear is never-ending Controlling, and I can't seem To find myself again My walls are closing in I've felt this way before So insecure Against my will, I stand beside my own reflection. It's haunting how I can't seem to find myself again. My walls are closing in. I've felt this way before, so insecure. Thank you. 
Hi there, guys. My name's Ava. I'm the poetry representative for Coffee House. Um, and so it's my responsibility to introduce the great set of poets we have tonight. Um, first up, we have Sam Martin, um, who is in, I believe, 10th grade, and will be reading some poetry for you guys. Let's hear it for Sam, yeah? Come on. It's okay, Ava. The great thing is often a mistake. People think I'm a junior all the time, but that's okay. So the poem I'm reading tonight is called Mediocracy. It's almost two years old, but it's still one of the best things I've ever written, in my opinion. And it is not about what you think it's about. So here we go. It isn't being used, yet the machine still malfunctions. It never deserved superlatives. Never the best, never the worst. It contained nothing that captured the senses, not sight, not smell, not even taste. Yet somehow, by malfunctioning, it made its way into the memories and minds of the children, hungry and tired and elated. It did not crumble or shatter like a glass face on marble floor. Rather, it oozed mediocrity into their waiting hands. Thank you. Um, first, a quick announcement. In case you haven't already heard or been told, unfortunately, our headliner, Rivers, will not be able to make it tonight. Um, unfortunately, the singer has a bad sickness. What is it? Pneumonia. Pneumonia. <laughs> Wash your hands. <laughs> Wash your hands. <laughs> um, but you know what? I don't think that really affects us too much because we've had so many great performers already, and we're going to have so many more tonight. And you know what comes to mind when I think of great performers? What comes to mind? <laughs> Shalom. Yes. This is what comes to mind. So um, we, uh, yeah, we are what guys. comes to mind. Uh, this, of course, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this is Noah Fowler, greatest bassist, pianist, guitarist, anything ever. Uh, on, on keys, we have uh, Michael Smith, a really good friend. Uh, and on the Kajan, we got John. And I'm sure, I'm sure you, some of you know who I am. Uh, my name is Neo. Uh, this is my first coffee house, and I'm hoping to make it one of the best. Um, our song, since, since we couldn't get Rivers, we're playing a song called The River, so I guess it kind of compensates for it. Um, anyways, uh, Michael, you think we're ready? <laughs> we are good to go. I think we're going to get started. All right. Oh, yeah, my bad. All right, I guess we're good to go. I have noticed she will deliver I am floating trust in the river I have floated down Floated down Floated down Floated down Floated down Down, 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 down The river down, down, down Down, down, 
down, down, down the river. Shines on the white stone. Water is your bed. The ripples cushion your head. I can't believe it. It is floating. Trust in the river. I am floating. Yeah, it's not the first time I have noticed she will deliver. I am floating down, 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 down the river. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. to a close. Unfortunately, we don't have time for another song, although I wish we did. Maybe next coffee house we will. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who came out tonight, everybody who's watching on the live stream, and uh, I, everybody who's organizing the coffee house. Thanks for, you know, letting me get my foot in the door. Appreciate it. Love you all. you guys so much. That was great. I loved it. Um, so our next poet coming up, uh, you've seen her before. She's tall. She's cool. She's got her hair and a half ponytail. It is Beth Petrunik in 12th grade reading some poetry. Thanks, Ava. All right. This little selection is from a book of selected poems by E.E. E. Cummings. And this chapter I'm reading a poem from is about war. <laughs> All right, here we go. My sweet, old, etc. Aunt Lucy, during the recent war, could, and what is more, did tell you just what everybody was fighting for. My sister Isabel created hundreds and hundreds of socks, not to mention shirts, flea-proof ear warmers, etc., wristers, etc. My mother hoped that I would die, etc., Bravely, of course, my father used to become hoarse talking about how it was a privilege and if only he could. Meanwhile, myself, etc., lay quietly in the deep mud, etc., dreaming, etc., of your smile, eyes, knees, and of your etc. Thanks. I believe the proper way to applaud a poem is snapping. Up next, we have Soy Ploy. Um, they have been performing for a full year. Uh, this marks their, fir their full year anniversary, correct? Yeah. Yeah? Thanks. Cool. And um, they have a known practice known as a crop rotation as they uh, get a new performer every time they perform. Plants, yeah. right? All right. Some of them may look familiar. Um, Probably because they were uh, just on stage. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> all right. They're going to they're gonna do a few songs for you guys. Um, I, think, I think everything's been said, so I'll leave it uh, to them now. So let's give them a large round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Prescott. Each year, 
Michael Smith, Olivia Trombley, and Declan Waters, the world's three greatest farmers, venture across the entire school district in search of the best and the brightest musicians. This year was a bountiful harvest with two new additions to the soy pod. We have Bean One, John Smith, who's our youngest performer, Hello. sitting at a comfortable 11 and a half years old. And we have Danielle on the upright bass, and man, can she play the bass. First song we'll be playing for you guys is one by one of my favorite bands, Wolf Peck. This one is called Baby I Don't Know. Thank you. What's up next, Olivia? Up next is a song called Saturday in the Park by Chicago, which is my dad's favorite band. He should be watching on the live stream, so hi, Dad. <laughs> and before we start, I have a question for you, John. Can you dig it? Yes, I can. All right, now it's your turn. Can you dig it? Yes, I can. Remember that. Woo!
I venture from the comfortable depths of behind the keyboard to bring you a new instrument never seen before at any coffee house. This is my invisible trumpet. Tonight, you will all hear me play it in a song by a band that a couple of you might have heard of. It's called The Jackson Five. Uh, this one is called I Want You Back, but we're gonna slow it down a little. So, uh, here we go. John, would one. you count us off one. very slowly? One, two, three, four. to myself I didn't want you around Those pretty faces always made you stand out in a crowd Then someone picked you from the bunch One glance was all it took Now it's much too late for me to take a second look invisible trumpet now too. I wish I had one. All right, so this, uh, this fine band up here um, is called Virago and they're here to play you some music um, as they are a band. Um, they have been together since the beginning of the year and their newest member is uh, the lovely Anna Crawford. And now you can be sure to hear some great music from this group 
because they are all very well seasoned mus musicians. Uh, they've all been playing instruments for many, many years. So give it up for Virago. <laughs> Hello, how are you guys doing? Awesome, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay, so we are Virago. On guitar we have Miss Josetta Checkit. On violin we have the lovely Anna Crawford. And on ukulele and later tambourine, I am Reese Darty. So you might be wondering what Virago means. Virago means warrior woman, hence us. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so our first song is called Lady Leo, and this is an original. Hope you guys like it. You might recognize it from the Herd TV commercial, if any of you saw that. Okay. <laughs> yep. Good to go? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. your smile she's been staring at your eyes a little while and I know she's not looking down Leo just look at me and say that everything's all right and bring her comfort on a cold quiet night because she's never looking down whoa Leo lady Leo saving me about the heavens dare I say greeting April nights and leaving day by day I know she's never looking down Leo you got her head up in the clouds all the time and though I can't see her I know she's just fine because she's never looking down whoa saving me Leo you've gone away and now she's got something else to see her eyes have got a mild fixation on me because she's finally looking down Leo I miss you dearly but your seasons come to an end and you'll be back around the Springtime, my friend, you know she won't be looking down. Whoa, Leo, Lady Leo saving me. you guys enjoyed that. If you're wondering why you don't recognize me, it's probably because I'm new. Um, I just joined the band, actually, in late November. 
guess you could say Virago is Virag growing. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, that was really bad. Okay, so we have been spending a lot of time just jamming in Ruse's basement and having tons of fun. And I'm really glad that I joined the band because it's been a really great experience. So this is Little Talks by Of Mice and Men. A lot of you probably yeah. know it. And this is uh, just a song that we have a lot of fun playing together and we hope you like it. You ready? We good? Okay. Just a second. All right. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <laughs>
Um, so this last song we're going to play is um, uh, one of my personal favorite songs. It's Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan. And I'm sure a lot of you know that one, too. It's kind of old, but it's still a really good song. So um, yeah, this is Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan. One. We have a couple of issues. Did your mic go? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, this one? Okay. Yeah. Okay, never Back mind. On. We're all good. All sorry. Right. Yeah, sorry. We had some technical okay. difficulties. All right. Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan. All right. One, two, three. Thank you, we are Virago. Uh, so normally, uh, the lovely Ava Wendelkin would be introducing the next poet, but um, she can't be with us to do that, um, seeing as she is over there. Um, so I'm here to introduce the lovely Christian Slider, who has uh, done many things with us, and now he's back to read us some poetry. All right. <laughs> All right, so this poem I'm going to read you guys is an original that I wrote called Broken Pieces. I hope you guys enjoy. You and I were like two puzzle pieces that fit so well together, as if we were meant to be connected forever so we could complete this bigger picture for the both of us. But I have an issue with perfect things, where I can't let myself enjoy the moment of pure bliss. So I take these two puzzle pieces, and I bend and I twist like a two-year-old that doesn't know right from wrong, until nothing connects anymore. There are no more spontaneous late-night drives or long phone calls that go on for hours. There are no more good morning texts or passionate kisses when no one else is looking. 
There is no future, there is no bigger picture. All that remains are the fragments of what could have been a beautiful image. Thank you. Thank you, Christian, for that beautiful poem. All right, next up, we're going to continue with some music with uh, some familiar faces, as Matthew said, with the lovely Ava Ventelkin <laughs> from our, our third MC. <laughs> Um, so these guys like to go by the Wingdings. That's fun to say. And this is their second coffee house. Am I right? Yeah. All right. It is. Give a round of applause for the Wingdings. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so as I said, we're the Wingdings. Um, I guess we'll introduce ourselves. Hello, I'm Lauren. I'm back. <laughs> And also, he's Brady. <laughs> oh, I'm Bree. And I'm Ava, as I said like 15 times. Um, so now I have to do the crowd work that you have to do at the beginning of a set. Um, so we're just going to do a little call and response. Um, so I say call, you say response. Call. Response. Call. Response. I say wing, you say dings. Wing. Dings. Wing. Dings. Dings. I say fiscal, you say responsibility. Fiscal. Responsibility. Fiscal. Responsibility. I say Beirut, you say is the largest and capital city of Lebanon. Beirut. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to be able to do that. That's why I said that. <laughs> um, so thematically, that is fitting because our next, well, our first song um, is by a band called Beirut, and the song is Postcards from Italy. Um, we promised we would never play a song on ukulele again a little while ago, because um, if you remember Brie and I, we used to play only songs on ukulele, because it's piano. the only thing that could fit in our little hands. Um, so, <laughs> but we've moved on up, but uh, we're using ukulele again. Sorry, Mom. Um, without further ado, is everyone ready? We good? Um, I can't hear myself in my monitor. Okay, I'm good. Cool. Is everything all good here? Negative? Negative? Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. All right. All right, so while we wait, those of you who know me will know this joke and will know that it's horrible, but it's kind of a story, so. Okay. Someone keeps adding soil to my garden. The plot thickens. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> I'm not a fan. All right, is everything good now?
just that me. Uh-huh. It's just her. <laughs> Gotta take my flannel off. Ooh. Now, um, no, stop it, quiet boys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty steamy in here. Our next song is Margaritaville um, by Jimmy Buffett, and we did it because we thought it would be funny because it's winter, <laughs> but it, it's not even applicable because it's so hot in here. I'm it's mad that warm. this is happening to me. But um, yeah, our next song is Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett. I'm, I'm repping the shirt. I got this from a thrift store for $10. So, you know, kind of a bargain, but um, yeah. Is everyone ready? Everyone good? Bree, are you ready? Uh, yeah. I'm working on it. Okie dokie. supposed to be a marimba. Okay. We're, we should be all right. Can I have this with me? Yes. Can, is, am I good back there? All, all right. right. Cool. standards for dads and um (laughs) next sorry i'm a dad too i love that song so much but um i i I was doing a crossword the other day and um it well it's a crossword from the future and um it said five letter word for the president in 2020 um now i'm taking audience volunteers who can tell me a five letter word for someone what I heard it. It's Kanye West. We'll be living under Kanye West in 2020 now. Isn't that novel? And um, the next song we are playing 
is actually gonna be our national anthem, believe it or not. So um, you better get used to it, better learn the words and uh, sing along with us. So um, we'll be playing Bound 2 by Kanye West. Um, and I don't think anyone's ever heard that song and gone, wow, this is so coffee house. <laughs> because if you know the song, it's not. <laughs> but um, we will refrain from swearing and degrading women here. So uh, without further ado. Right. Can you hear um, me back there? Okay. Cool. Okay, is everyone good? Yeah. Great. Okay, tap us off, Brady. <laughs>
Thanks, wingdings. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to take a little break from the music for a second because I have someone super important to introduce. <laughs> it's not Tom. <laughs> uh, Shane from The Leaf Project is here to talk to us a bit. If you remember, they were here for our last coffee house and gave us some coffee and some stuffed peppers and stuff. So here's Shane. Thank you. Thank you. And um, can you hear me? And uh, can you give another round of applause to that last group? They were amazing. Wingdings. So good. Um, so um, I'm here to talk a little bit about the LEAF project. And my goal is to try to get some people to see if they might apply for our summer internship. And I'll talk about that a little bit. But I'll try to be quick. Um, and I think the best way to do it, actually, first of all, can you raise your hand if you've heard of the LEAF project before? Raise your hand high. OK. OK, good. All right, and how about um, if you've heard of it but you don't really know what it is, could you raise your hand half as high, just like this? Okay, okay, okay. Just I wanted to get a sense of what people know about it. All right, so um, I think the best way to do it is um, I need a volunteer, um, at least one, maybe two, one. Okay, oh, well, you, you know about it. I want someone who doesn't know about LEAF. Yeah, over there in the back. Yeah, okay, you can come up here. Okay, so my, my question for these folks is, um, if you had $1,000, what would you do with it? So think about it for a second. Got it? Okay. All right. I'd probably invest. Invest. Okay, wow. All right. Okay, that's great. Okay. I'd probably save it for college. Okay. Very smart. Sorry, we're yeah. so no, no, that's all right. That's all right. Um, oh, does someone want to call out another thing? Okay. All right. So the reason I asked him that question is because if you decided to apply for an internship with a LEAF project, by the end of eight weeks during the summer, you would have earned $1,000. And so I just want you, I wanted people to have a sense about what they would do if they had $1,000. Um, what the LEAF project does is we hire youth who are in, mostly in high school, um, and we give them the opportunity to work on farms, to work with executive chefs and learn how to cook, and then um, do ventures in the community that improve their community, basically. So it's a nonprofit. And this would be an internship, and you'd learn a lot while also earning money. And that's what the LEAF project is. If you had your hand halfway up, that's what it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is, again, my name is Shane. I'm going to have um, information, and I'm going to be at the, the counter when you guys leave. So if you want, you can just grab one. Our application is going to open in mid-February. So if you are interested, please apply, because we like to have a lot of folks from Carlisle in our crew. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Hello! Hey, what's up? You having a good time? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Great performers tonight, am I right? Yep. They pay me a lot of money to say that. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Jimmy Wilkinson. Yes, hello. Uh, if you don't know who I am, now you do. Um, but I am one of the three coffee house advisors. Here are my uh, compadres over here. We got Grayson Rec, who runs the tech. And Sue Hench, who never sits on the bench, am I right? Um, so uh, another thing I wanted to do, since um, I noticed that there are some Coffee House alum here tonight, I just want to give a shout out to you guys. Where are you out there? You somewhere? Yeah, stand up, be counted for. Yeah, up in the back. <laughs> um, all right, so for those of you that don't know, this coffee house right here marks the 10th anniversary of Coffee House. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Future looks good, right? Uh, so. Um, with this 10-year mark coming up, we as a set of advisors got together and we tried to think, what can we do to bring Coffee House up another level? You know, we always want to try to make it uh, better every year. And uh, we decided what's the best thing we could do is to invest back in the performers in our program. So as a result, we came up with something that we are calling the Coffee House Grant. Um, now, the way this grant works is this grant is going to be worth up to $500. Um, so the way it works is uh, you have to be a junior to apply, um, or this year and this year only, you could also be a senior and apply to it. 
and um, you have to have performed in one coffee house at least in your time here at Carlisle. So if you're performing tonight, you're eligible. <laughs> if, also if you're a junior or senior. Uh, and if you performed another time, you're eligible. And so the way it works is you are going, you would fill out an application. Um, and the, the purpose of it is designed to give a student, one student, an opportunity to explore music more deeply. Um, so maybe you're dying to learn a new instrument, like the mandolin or the I invisible trumpet. Uh, and you just, you just don't have the money to get one for yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. Five hundred dollars just not enough. Um, or maybe there's a, a musician that you've been dying to see, uh, and they're a big inspiration for you, and you want to see how this big time musician, uh, you know, performs in, in front of a crowd. Or maybe you want to take some uh, vocal lessons, or maybe you want to create your own album and get some recording time. Um, well, you can apply for this grant for up to five hundred dollars, and you tell us about what you want to do. So you got to give your name, tell us how you want to use the money, uh, come up with, an out, uh, with a timeline, and then come up with a product that you're going to share with the coffeehouse community. So like, are you going to come here and perform something on your new instrument? Or, uh, I, I don't know, did you buy Bruce Springsteen clothes and you're going to wear a jean jacket up here and, I don't know, turn around with your back to the audience with a handkerchief? That's, that's for the adults out there. Uh, so, um, anyway, lots of possibilities. Um, really, the only limit is your imagination. Um, so, yeah, $500, junior, senior. If you're a junior this year, it will not be available to you as a senior next year, so you should apply this year for it. So this year it's two, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this year it is two $500 scholarships. So, next year it'll be just one, but, you know. So we're definitely all very excited about this and from all three of us, thanks to the bottom of our hearts, to all the alumni, all the parents, all of you sitting in the seats that came out, your ticket sales are what are pushing this. Yep, the instruments on the stage, a lot of them, that's all coffee house money that we're able to buy things, this coffee house grant that comes right out of the ticket sales. So thank you all very, very much. For us, this is the best way to celebrate 10 years of a great program and great growth. So we're just glad to be able to share that with you, and we look forward to seeing what comes of it. So we're going to turn it over to Jimmy to wrap this up. Yeah, so uh, I have the grant applications. I'm also going to have them in my classroom. Um, you could get them. You could start applying tonight or something. Uh, and <laughs> I'm sure that's how you want to spend your Friday night. Uh, and they are due... The, yep, that's what I was going to say. They're due on the January 26th by 3 p.m. in my classroom. Um, yeah, so that's it. And, uh, hey, did you see the super cool shirt I'm wearing? Uh, you could get one, too, just to say, and we're lowering the price. Usually they're $1,000. But just for tonight only, they're $10 for you. Thanks. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to give a thank you to them because without them, this program wouldn't be a, a thing. So. All right. Now back on track with the music. Um, we have the lovely Claire Whalen. This is her ninth coffee house, her third winter coffee house, and she enjoys writing original songs for the up-and-coming coffee houses. So um, take it away, Claire. Hi guys, um, so as Ozzy said, I'm Claire, and I'm going to be playing a song for you guys that I wrote from a really weird inspiration. Um, I play softball, and I was running to first base, and I tripped, <laughs> and my coach said, watch out for the anthills, so I figured, okay, maybe I'm a little clumsy, but then one night I was sitting, and I was eating my dinner, and I spilled drink all over me, so I took that and used it for inspiration, and I wrote a song called Stained. Um, it's about basically someone that really leaves an impression on you and um, just kind of opens up your heart, so I hope you guys like it.
that party that night the stars reflecting in your eyes sirens going off in my mind thank you likes to hang in there. Um, all right, um, we have our next poet up here. Yet again, Ava will be on the stage, so she cannot announce. Um, we have Bree Murray, who is an 11th grader, and she will be doing some original poetry for us. So let's give her a hand. All right. Thank you, Ozzy. All right, I don't normally do some. I do. I don't normally do this. And something you should know about me is that I don't consider myself a writer. But I wrote several pieces for the scholastic competition for English class, uh, and this is one of them. And it's called "A Lost Boy's Nightly Glory Be." Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We each defect from this broken reality for that which is more whole, for that which is more holy. Vulnerability is a dead language, and it is easier to converse in solitary suffering than to rescind our mutual denials, however strong the desire to do so may be. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Late at night, I often wonder if you are hiding anything, wonder if you too have a skeleton in your closet, dusty with age and doubled over in some dark corner. Are you trying as hard as I am to smother the road less traveled by? I follow in your footsteps, but I stumble in circles for miles, losing you again and again and again. Amen. Yes, Bree. Awesome job. All right. Up next, we have a name very familiar to the Coffee House family. Um, this band is known as Under the Floorboards. Uh, and they hey. are <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw. And they are the longest running band in Coffee House. Yeah. So Yeah. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Oz. <laughs> you know here how you hear that statistic that's like every seven years you're like a different person because all of your cells have been shed? <laughs> That, well, if you haven't heard that, that's true. And um, if you have heard it, that's what we are. Because currently, there are no original members of Under the Floorboards here. How about that? We're all new cells. So. Yeah, and Cameron's the right newest addition of yeah. Under the Floorboards. Yes. Yeah, you couldn't <laughs> make it. Yep. So All right, um, our first song is an oldie but a goodie, <laughs> which I feel like I say about every old song. <laughs> but um, it's by a familiar band you may know called Fleetwood Mac. Who? Yeah. <laughs> um, are we good? What? Play. Are you good? I can't tell. I yeah. can't Okay, see. we're good. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love it. We're not well known Love for it. our hand-eye coordination. That's why we're musicians. <laughs> to the Yes. 
moment while we all change instruments. LOL, except for me. I only play one instrument. Except for ukulele, which is a small guitar. to plug this into. Well, hello there <laughs> again. Hello, hello. Ooh. This next one is also maybe a familiar band to some of you and has a very <laughs> similar name to the last one. Uh, Fleet Foxes, not to be confused with Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> Different animals. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Foxes and Max. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. We're good, we're good. Is everyone, everyone? All right, is everybody ready? I'm good, I'm chilling. Are you ready for this? Tech Tech, you ready. good? Nice! Yeah. yeah, like a triple thumbs up, so that's good. <laughs> All right. Cameron, nice, steady, slow beat. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. I was following the eye, was following the eye, was following the eye, was following the eye, was following the pack, all swallowed in their coats, with scarves of red tied round their throats, to keep their little heads falling in the snow and I turned round and there you go and Michael you would fall and turn the white snow red as strawberries in the summertime Following the pack, all swallowed in their coats With scarves of red tied round their throats To keep their little heads from falling in the snow And I turned round and there you go And Michael you would fall and turn the white snow red As strawberries in the sun With scarves of red tied round their throats To keep their little heads from falling in the snow And I turned round and there you go And Michael you would fall And turn the right snow red As strawberries in the summertime A little Thanks. accidental spoonerism at the end of that one. Excuse us while we change you everything. That. I'm good. I'm fine. Uh, I took my capo up Ava. like a half. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what? You guys like jokes? I didn't like who you are. I was just asking, I wasn't going to tell one. Y'all sound oh, so yeah. demanding. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, welcome Brady to the stage. <laughs> on the stage. Yeah, wow. Brady's gonna accompany us, cause that's what he does. What it's an best. honor. Brady. I didn't even make the program on this one. Uh, Brady didn't make the program on this one, so. <laughs> Who is he? In case you didn't realize, that's Brady. He's back. <laughs> Who doesn't know who Brady is? I have no Coffee idea. House history tonight. Yeah, this is the uh, first performance in Caveat's history with a clarinet. <laughs> Not an invisible clarinet. Oh, really? 
<laughs> it's Squidward. You're right. <laughs> I can see the resemblance. It's all right. Uh, Ava, you want to chat about this next piece? What? Oh, um, yeah. It's called Send Them Off by Bastille. Exclamation mark. Send Them Off by Bastille. The um, and, uh, well, I, what is Bastille? It's a, uh, oh, it's an it's a, armory in France. Yeah. I took AP Euro. Did you? It's the only thing I could remember. Okay. It's also a British alternative band. Yes. And we're going to sing one of their songs. If you don't know who they are, they're the ones who played um, Pompeii. Oh, Pompeii. Pompeii yeah, yeah, that's their yeah. big claim to fame. Yeah. We're indie, though. We're indie. Though. We're Follow indie. Are we? Couldn't play a hit. That's not us. All right. Is, is everybody ready? I'm great. Yeah. She, she hasn't changed this for good. Nope. No. Um, well. Are we good? All right, now we're good. Now we're good. Okay. Okay. Got a lot of jokes up here. Our next poet is Gracie Wellman. Uh, she is a 12th grader, and um, she will be reciting, I don't know, you will find out. Hey, y'all. So, yeah, my name is Grace, and I'm going to be reciting a po poem by Connor French on his book, Note to Self, and it's called um, Lemon Cakes in a Better Place, and it's basically just about um, a person that got out of a relationship, but instead of being all sad, they're actually, like, happier and they're more positive, so... Here we go. Lemon cakes in a better place. Light like a lemon cake, tickles like a feather at the corners of my lips. Make some rise, for this moment smells of sweet caramel, jolt my brain back to life. The past matters less, for I am greater than before. 
I was so little. Now bigger I stand on my two feet, held by my own, taller than ever. Thanks. All right. Um, uh, as we're nearing our last one, I'm just going to say a thank you to everyone who came out. Um, Do you all have a good time? Yeah. Woo! We still, still have Electric Daydream to come up. All right. Um, so it's time to announce the uh, annual uh, mugshot competition winner. Hold on. Okay. Um, for you that don't know, we hold a mugshot competition in which people have to take photos using a mugshot but using perspective to make it look like they're in the mug. Um, take a look right outside of the auditorium when you guys check, like, leaving, and that's where the pictures are. Um, but this year, we added a new uh, category because Photoshop is a thing. All right, so um, for the best natural perspective, that goes to the club winging it. Um, you guys will get donuts. See you soon. Um, the best Photoshop goes to AP Research. You guys will be getting donuts in the near future. And then our faculty award goes to Frau Schock. We have a coffee house t-shirt, come on up, for, uh, for you. And a free ticket to the spring show, a coffee cup, and I'm pretty sure a Starbucks gift card. So, congratulations. All right, I'm gonna hand off the mic. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, now, I don't know about you fellas, um, but uh, some of you might be ready to wrap it up. But I know that they're ready to wrap it up, um, seeing as they are the, that's funny, seeing as they are the last group to be performing, and uh, you probably all know them, got some familiar faces up here, such as No Fowler, No G Fowler. No, Fowler, my bad. And on top of performing an electric daydream today, he's also starred across the years in uh, many different groups with different faces, such as Crisis Plan, Crisis Plan Revival, Meat Raffle, and Group Folk, that's right. Um, Earth Child. Earth Child, Earth right. Without, uh, the, without the D, it's Earth Child. So, yeah. Right. Well, I was actually just thinking about it. This, this is my 10th coffee house. Wow. Like, that's a lot of coffee houses. I had to tally them all up. So, yeah. I love Electric Daydream, and I know you will, too. Have a great night, everyone. All right.
Thank you. That first one was simply titled, Can I Repeat the Line? We are doing an all-original set tonight. All these songs are Electric Daydream originals. To my right, we got Anders Bergsten playing drums. We got Luke Riley on the bass, the bass player. And I'm Noah Fowler. This next one is called Fall, and I gotta put a capo on it. House. You guys have been an awesome audience. So give yourselves a round of applause for that. Alright, this last one for tonight is called 2020 Hercules. Twenty twenty Hercules who 
every time I realize beauty equals pain. A quarter score of lovers, they all turn. You guys have a good night. Hey, thanks for coming tonight, everybody. All right, yeah, uh, it's probably raining, so, you know, hope you brought an umbrella. Thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for performing. Uh, Sue, am I missing anything? Tech. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's thank the tech deck up there. Thank you so much, guys. Um, hey, if you enjoyed this, oh, yeah. If you enjoyed this live, well, maybe you also joined it not live on YouTube. Thanks to Herd TV. Thank you, Herd TV, for being here. Thank our MCs. <laughs> Anything else? Okay.